Libra, welcome to your reading. Wait. Yeah. So, welcome to your reading and what are you defending yourself against? You are defending yourself against something and uh, I guess there is some sort of a separation. Uh, some separation has happened and you are defending yourself. Uh, you are you're standing your ground. Something new, something passionate you want to start like a single life. Uh, you want to have a single life or something. And you feel very attractive. Very driven. Very uh, focused. Very goal oriented. You are working on your finances starting something new or going through going under a transformation investing some of you are investing in a scorpio person sun moon rising or some of you are with regards to your money going through some excuse me about the train guys You are going through some transformation with regards to your money situation. Mother of Pentacles here. So I am getting that some of you are dealing with a Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And going through some transformation with regards to something related to family life or just finances like focusing on what you value in your life what you want in your life what sort of things you want yourself to be surrounded by and how you want to take care of your surrounding and yourself uh, so let's see Libra Sun Moon Rising May and beginning of June reading Libra Sun Moon Rising what are the messages you feel that uh, okay so some of you are definitely going through a transformation because I saw this card a couple of times and I have been mentioning about the card that you are going through some transformation something has ended uh, where you felt that uh, you were dealing or uh, either you were dealing with a Leo Sagittarius or a Aries or someone uh, like you are wearing this new personality which is very fiery and you are out there doing your thing pursuing your dreams and desires so that is what I am getting here give me more information with regards to Libra ending of May beginning of June what are the messages coming in for Libra sun moon rising guys I know this reading is very late so kindly excuse me for that Bottom of the deck is the Justice card, which is the Libra card. So, some of you are dealing with karmic issues or court issues. Things are, uh, although in balance, so don't fear that and uh, don't think that things are uh, going against you. No, they are happening the way they are supposed to happen. Like I said, you are dealing with the Earth sign, or you are just too much focused on your uh, money issues. Like I said, you are working uh, at your workplace. You are very very focused and you are trying to uh, get results at workplace you want uh, returns like you want uh, luck to favor you you want uh, you want fortune to be in your favor and i think it is you are uh, trying to balance and juggle two things you are trying to maintain the balance some of you are trying to work it out with a lover who is a either a Gemini or a or someone who is just not uh, like you feel that you you are emotionally unfulfilled or this person is un emotionally unfulfilled and you want to make it work with this person three of pentacles and you have to make a choice if you want to carry forward uh, with this person or not because there can be a chance that this person is uh, has a third party okay third party can uh, be a family or a work anything can be a third party which is obstructing your relationship so let's see her heart of the matter is the eight of 
wands what's crossing you is eight of swords the hangman the mother of cups four of swords the high priestess nine of swords two of cups two of wands two of swords uh, bottom of the deck the son of wands what i'm getting here is that you are trying to uh, make passionate a connection with someone who is living far from you this person is uh, not like either you are not yeah both of you are uh, starting something new and have had a like you both had a like you both ended a cycle and you are beginning a new cycle and you are trying to balance things out also either you are not mature or this person or both of you are not mature for this uh, like this relationship itself i feel is not mature enough right now uh you have uh, some feelings and this person also have some feelings and then some passion is there now uh with this eight of wands i'm getting that uh, either you guys live far away or this person is not uh, in touch with you right now i'm also getting your obstacle is eight of eight of swords which is saying that you are feeling stuck you feel that there is no growth there is no moving forward uh, you also feel that you are stuck in this cycle without and you can't do anything the thing is that you are so stuck that uh, you also have the major arcana the hangman both of these cards are talking about how you feel that you cannot help the situation you cannot do anything to to change the situation so you have to sacrifice the situation you have to move within you need to concentrate on yourself you have to uh, withdraw from the situation is what i'm getting here you can be dealing with a pisces person as well in past you found someone who was very selfless caring and uh, this can be pisces cancer scorpio sun moon rising uh, this is a person who either you were very giving towards this person or this person was very supportive and loving towards you they had lot to offer you what's crowning you is the four of swords so right now you are trying to heal yourself you are trying to take rest you are trying to uh go inside and work on yourself you are meditating as well in future you are dealing with a pisces person or you are dealing with someone who is a mysterious person this person has lot of knowledge or this is you who is gaining lot of knowledge some spiritual insights uh you can be consulting someone uh, who is a spiritual teacher or guru in future and uh, you are being asked to trust your intuition in the future because your intuition is going to be really strong in future so make decisions based on your intuition if you feel something is good then it's good for you if it's not you are not feeling then it's bad probably right now you are uh, up late at night just uh, thinking about the situation over and over again and it's not going to help um, because whatever that you are putting your energy your mind into that is going to manifest so if you are thinking bad thoughts or if you are having a troubled thoughts if you are going to keep thinking about it over and over again you are going to uh, get stuck and you won't be able to uh, like in fact you will have bad things coming your way because you have been thinking about these things and then you will manifest these things in your surrounding there is someone loving by the way and i don't know who this person is but you have feelings for this person and this person also has feelings for you but for some reason both of you are feeling stuck or you are feeling stuck and you don't know what to do and that is why you have a choice to make which path to take how to proceed so you are thinking about it you hope that uh, a new path will open and the outcome is that you have you are indecisive so which is very typical of libra you are indecisive you are not able to decide you are not sure what to do what is right what is wrong and there is lot of duality in the last three cards that i am getting here like two 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 of wands two of swords and two of cups so there is definitely a choice that you have to make i was also getting two of pentacles somewhere yes look you are trying to balance something out uh, you are trying to understand emotions you are trying to balance something so i think this is something of a beginning that is just beginning so you are not sure how to go about it um but i think you need to trust your instincts and it will lead you uh, to whatever you want to uh, what whatever you are thinking you need to make the decision about now what is this uh, hangman about what why is libra feeling stuck why is libra feeling stuck libra sun moon rising may end 
to June beginning. Okay, you are feeling stuck about a situation uh, because you feel you are being deceived, but you are not. You are feeling stuck because you feel uh, you want a family, but you feel you can't have a family with this person, so you are feeling like that. But I don't think that is the case. That's not truth. And I am also feeling you feel uh, hangman is being clarified by hangman. You feel that you are stuck, but you are actually not stuck. You just feel that you are stuck. Like you have put yourself deliberately in that position. Death card. You feel something has ended, but I don't think that's the case. Uh, things things can still be uh, renewed. What is this obsessive thinking that Libra is having? Sun, Moon, Rising. What is this obsessive thinking day and night? What is this? Yes, you, you are thinking about this person who you feel is your lover. You were healing with this person, or you are healing with this person, or from, because lovers and then the two of cups again, and you have two of cups again come up twice in your surrounding. Also, there is two of cups, and then you again have two of cups as coming up as you. So you are worried about a soulmate connection that you have with someone, and you are healing. Uh, you want to heal yourself, or you should heal yourself before you. Uh, you are also making a decision if you want to continue with this person. It can be a Gemini person. Uh, you have passion for this relationship. What is this high priestess? But I think you are still not mature about this relationship. Like you, some day you feel uh, passionate and some days you don't. That sort of feeling I'm getting. What is this high priestess energy? You want to offer somebody something in future. I feel that you want to offer somebody your time and energy. You want to offer them flowers. I also feel you want to move forward with this person in future. Uh, it can be with a Pisces or a Cancer person because you have aligned your emotions. And yes, you want to. Uh, you feel that uh, this person is your soulmate. Definitely, this person completes you. And because you were feeling stuck, I think you are still feeling stuck in future. But you still want to move forward because you know, once you will start stepping forward, things will clear, uh, like make more sense. So you are uh, aligning your uh, emotions and mind, and uh, you want to move forward. You fear that if you will extend your love or if you will uh, ask for commitment. Uh, you are waiting uh, for uh, this person to open up, I guess, but you fear that they will have, you will have ego battle with this person, or this uh, like it would lead to bitter fighting. What is this two of swords in the outcome? What is this decision that Libra is making by the end of this month, uh, starting June? What is this decision that they are making? Okay, so this decision is taking you a lot of effort, a lot of anxiety, a uh, lot of. Uh, you are searching for your emotions. You are also trying to stand your ground. Uh, you can be dealing with the Pisces, like I said, because the um, Pisces or a Cancer, you are getting Sagittarius and Aries as well. Sun, Moon, Rising. I'm feeling that you uh, want to take charge of the situation, or you should take charge of the situation, and also try to keep a balance because it's divinely guided. You have to express emotions, or you are finding it hard to express your emotions, and you have to make a decision regarding that. How to express? Should I express? Should I not express? Uh, and it is keeping you up at night. And um, there is some confusion with regards to emotions, like you are hiding your emotions. What is this? Four of Swords. You are healing from a betrayal that you felt. You felt that someone came into your life and left. So you want to isolate yourself. You want to uh, just be by yourself, and you are healing yourself currently. You want to take your own time to approach or come out. What is this uh, Eight of Wands? You want to communicate with this person, whoever it is. This person can be in a long distance, uh, and you are confused about the situation. Like you. Are not sure how to make this decision, uh, what to trust and what not to trust. You want a commitment with this person. It can be with a Taurus. Uh, you want to have a family with this person. You want uh, something steady, something like a commitment which is passionate as well. It can be with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. 
what is this two of cups in the surrounding for uh, libra sun and rising yes this person is your dream come true this person uh, you need to give them a second chance or you want to give them a second chance it will require you a lot of strength you can also be dealing with aquarius or a scorpio you are you want to be patient you wish uh, this person was patient or you wish this person uh, didn't leave you because i think this person is leaving if you don't take action really quick yes this person is probably going to leave if you don't take action quickly and you are very scared so which is fine i think uh, you should take your time just communicate to this person that you are taking your time don't leave them hanging because it can make them nervous and then they might feel that you don't have interest in them and that's how it goes misunderstandings so yes now uh let's have what are the blockages for libra sun moon rising for end of may beginning of june guys uh, you will have to wait for me i think i have guest so wait for me I think it's your partner because I saw uh, in your external that uh, they had a uh, seven of pentacles impatience I think they are losing their patience and you need to trust your instincts your gut instincts or you are losing their uh, you are losing your patience with this person probably mysticism and forgiveness perfection I think Libra you are looking for something perfect and uh, nothing like that exists so you want things to be perfect and you want them a certain way but that doesn't happen and you are seeking guidance so mysticism is what i'm getting here you are de depending too much on mysticism like you are watching too much tarot videos to make choices that is not good uh, i'm getting that so don't do that make your own choices from your own strengths from your own heart space don't uh, don't fall in this trap of tarot card and uh, making a decision according to uh, what other people say forgiveness you need to forgive the situation or this person or just yourself in the situation and uh, for, forgive quickly guys because sometimes people take million years to forgive and that doesn't serve any purpose uh, there is there is no benefit to it like it's like you should forgive not when it's like when it's useless when your forgiveness is useless then it's, there is no point of forgiveness so you should forgive uh, i'm not saying you should forget but you should grant the forg forgiveness to the person if they are apologizing uh, don't make them uh, like don't uh, okay i think i'm getting personal here i think don't um, keep the person hanging so one should be quick to forgive and uh, in, uh, like if you don't want to entertain that behavior in a person where uh, this person comes and forgives uh, like you know ask for forgiveness and you forgive them and then they keep doing it uh, the same stuff again and again then that's a different story still you need to forgive them and not take them back in your life but still forgive because they are they are asking for forgiveness and you are not god 
if you are not god you can forgive you are just a human being and you can forgive another human being who is asking for forgiveness and um, that's what people should do i believe uh, and even though it will take some time for you to heal from the situation and you can let this person know listen i have forgiven you but i am going to take my time to uh, heal myself from the damage that you have done to me so that is a different thing by the way my top says here part to the women and i really love this top uh and so that was your reading libra i hope you enjoyed i'm not sure if i'm going to post the zoom videos um but i'll see what i can do maybe i'll be posting random videos uh so hope to see you then and take care